Yep, B, motherfucking Kaye. It's been a while, been a few weeks since the last video. Today we got a couple of things to do. We got the Isuzu or oil change. Besides that, what else does it have for the uh, engine light? Do you know the code? Uh, check it. Check engine. <laughs> okay, so we got some oils right here. This is for Steven's car. Um, if y'all wondering, it's the 2000 uh, Isuzu Rodeo. Um, it takes 10W30. I have the oil filter right here for Sativa. And one of the other material that you need to do the oil change is this uh, mop right here. So what you're going to do is that once the oil clears out, you're going to want to stick it up the oil filter and let's go to clear out all the gunk and stuff like that. Before we start the uh, content, go ahead and check out the uh, subscribe button and uh, see the uh, IG sponsor. It's going to be real good. Um, thank you for the 200 subs. It's pretty dang. Oh, yeah, yeah bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Do, 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 do. So, so much happened since I was gone. The Civic also actually needs to be oil changed also and a couple of other um, servicing for the 40k miles. It's not there yet, it's just around that uh, 37,000 miles, something like that. So we're going to be checking up the uh, Isuzu real quick and do the oil change for you guys. Um, first off, let's pop the engine bay real quick. There we go. And then where is the stick? I found it. The Isuzu is jacked up on both sides and with some uh, chalk on the back. And what we're gonna do to access the uh, drain plug and the oil filter, right, Steven? We take off this metal plate right here, and it's just going to be no, not even the right size. Oh, maybe we need a different one. 15 is. And there we go. Before both are out, get plate is out. Oil filter. And where the fuck is the drain plug? So, the oil filter, drain bolt. I think this is that's a huge rainbow bro maybe there we go oh yeah let this go out so the old filter is out which is right here the new uh, filter is in and the drain plug is put in um, we're just gonna load the car and then put in the new oil. Damn. Damn. So the oil is good. We uh, did the complete oil change. Next off, we will be taking a look at the OBD2 reader real quick because he's gonna check engine lights. And then we should be pulling in the Civic for the service which will be a tire rotation, check the fluids, and oil change, three things. So hang motherfucking tight, bitch. All right, we're gonna pull in the Civic next and start the work. So first thing first, we will be using this right here. Oh yeah, motherfucker. So I think what we're gonna do first is just um, do the tire rotation first to get it out of the way. Um, so we're gonna do that sick method that you did, or that we did last time, remember? What? The uh, downpipe install, remember how we jacked up the car on the front? <laughs> yeah! We're gonna do that method, so 
what entails is that when we use one of these scissor jack right here and right when we uh, jack the car up a good amount of uh, length height uh, we're going to use uh, the uh, jack uh, scissor jack to hold it in place real quick and we're going to remove this out and while this is holding the car up we're going to take that put it under the main jack point which is somewhere in the middle of the car so like around here but towards the inside um, I'm going to jack that up from there and then uh, re remove this put the two jack stands underneath and then jack the back and then uh, do the tire rotation but I think should we uh, loosen up the uh, lug nuts a little bit first before we jack it up or yeah It's going nowhere, so that's good. The jack is uh, back here just in case. So, how do you tire rotation work for the front wheel drive car? Is that the front tube is going to go straight to the back, and the back tube is going to cross to the front? Okay, so you want to take on this side? I'll, I'll take off the other side. All right, so took off the two fronts, we move it to the back. Now, waiting for Steven to uh, take off the rear so we can cross them to the front oh yeah easy bam all right so the rear is pretty much done and the front is pretty much done too so the tires are successfully rotated so i'm just gonna lower the car uh real quick all right Steven? yeah i'm just gonna lower the rear of the car so it's gonna be easier later. So here is the um, skid plates. Um, it just slides right out after y'all take off the uh, screws. Now normally there are more than uh, two, four, or five screws that's holding onto this because um, before uh, doing my own servicing, I take it to Honda dealership and they pretty much just uh, lose track of these motherfuckers. So now it's only down to five. Because as you can see, it's supposed to be here, there, bam, 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 bam. Then that's more than five, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, so yeah. Once this is off, you will be seeing these right here. Here is the um, oil filter. Here is the right there the drain plug the drain plug is 17 millimeter and how you can tell that this is the drain plug is because down here it says engine oil with an arrow pointing that way and then this this twist counterclockwise to take off um, you can use the OEM uh, oil filter or you can just buy one from Napa doesn't really matter when in doubt use the uh, drain or use the um, breaker bar that's what I meant to say. Okay, um, there we go. And then uh, the trick to this is the uh, pull out game. You know what I'm saying? Cause you don't want your hands to get stuck while the oil was just bursting out. Um, uh, let's do go with the uh, big one. Thanks, bro. You the MVP. Yeah, Jesus Maximus, bro. All right, now I'm just gonna put the drain plug back inside. One, two. All right. Moving on to. I see. One more time, it wouldn't hurt. There we go. So with the oil filter, similar situation, you're gonna twist a tad bit so it can uh, flow out and then uh, 
the rest is just twist that bitch out, you know. So I've looped the uh, inside of the filter and the new one a little bit. So now it's just a matter of screwing it back on. So uh, jack the car down, torque all four wheels to 80 foot pound. And, um, now we're gonna put in the oil. The uh, oil is uh, 0 to 20, and you just twist that out. There we go. Like that. Then normally I just place the cap right here on the latch, like so. So uh, I know what's up. So the car takes about 4.4. Uh, motherfucking uh, quart put in the new oil i used four quarts plus the fifth one up to this level right here so got that done now let me show you all how to uh, reset the service light so what you're going to do is Go to this menu right here it should have the oil life um, you can see right there the uh, maintenance light is on so what we're gonna do is hold this button on the right until it starts flashing and once it flashes you're gonna let it go and then hold it again there we go Ooh, you see that oil life is back to 100% that means we're good to go so Yep, B motherfucking Kaye. Down and. Hey, homie. That's pretty much it for today's content. Hope y'all enjoyed the uh, Steven oil change and the Honda oil change um, slash uh, surfacing. Tires are rotated and they are torqued down to spec. Uh, oil have been changed so fresh new oil in the car only thing is I need to top off the uh, coolant just a tad bit so tomorrow I'm gonna buy some motherfucking uh, coolant and uh, do that right quick and yeah that's pretty much it for the, uh, today's vlog and I will catch you guys on the uh, next time where Stephen will be stripping oh.